Hi, I'm Talisa, and welcome back to PMOD Monthly, our video series where we discuss Digilent's diverse line of peripheral modules, or PMODs. Our goal with this video series is to demonstrate cool project ideas using these add-on boards. So at the beginning of every month, we will release a new video that showcases one or more of Digilent's PMODs. And the best part, to encourage users to give these projects a try, we will be discounting the PMODs used that month. So stay tuned for a promo code at the end of this video. Nobody likes Mondays. The last thing you need is to be waylaid by hot coffee. Or blinded by unforgiving office fluorescence. Yeah. Or ambushed by your office mate's terrible taste in music. Instead of running a gauntlet of nasty surprises, ease into your Monday morning. Know the temperature of your coffee before your first drink. Test that the ambient light levels are below your Monday morning threshold. The same goes for the ambient noise. What you just saw demonstrated was the plug-and-play potential of PMODs using LabVIEW and Lynx. What we used there was the PMOD TC1, which is a K-type thermocouple, similar to what's used in a lot of heating appliances. We also used the PMOD ALS, an ambient light sensor. This could also be used as a motion detector. And lastly, the PMOD Mic 3, which is a MEMS microphone with a potentiometer on board for changing the gain. Darshan will now walk us through a little more detail on how he put the demo together and how he created the sub-VIs in LabVIEW. Hi, my name is Darshan, and today I'm going to show you guys my uh, plug-and-play PMOD demo. We're using LabVIEW Maker Hub Lynx, which allows LabVIEW to communicate with different microcontrollers um, and the Raspberry Pi and BeagleBone Black. We are using the Chipkit WF32, um, and the PMODs that we're using today are using SPI. So that's why we have it connected to pins 10, 11, 12, and 13 for the data. So if we go to our front panel here, we choose SPI, and then we're using the PMOD ALS right now. So we'll select that and click Run. Now the board is establishing a connection between LabVIEW uh, and itself. So once that's running, we can actually see the light. And then as my finger goes over it, the light level goes to zero. All right, we'll click stop, and now we can switch out to the PMOD TC1, the thermocouple. So let's go ahead and select PMOD TC1 and click go. Again, it'll establish a connection. All right, so now we have our temperature reading, and if I put my fingers on it, my hands are kind of cold, but uh, the temperature there is going up. Click stop. And then from there, we can switch over to our PMOD Mic 3. And we'll select PMOD Mic 3 on the front panel. Click Run, and boom. So here we can blow on it. And you can see the waves there. So if we go over to the block diagram, we can see um, our PMOD ALS right here. Once we select that, it'll open a connection to the PMOD, and then it'll actually read the values. Um, all of these are using um, the sub-VIs that I made for our different PMODs. If we go to Maker Hub, Links, Sensors, and PMODs, we can see all the PMODs that Links currently supports, um, and we're adding more PMODs sub-VIs as time goes on. So um, right now we have PMODs like the ACL, the PMOD Gyro, the PMOD GPS, um, the PMOD Bluetooth. Um, if you're interested in recreating this demo, you can go to Instructables. There'll be a link in the description. Um, if you're interested in creating your own sub-VIs for different PMODs or different sensors, um, I have instructables for how to create sub-VIs for UART communication, SPI communication, and I2C communication so you can create your own. Back to you, Talisa. For more general information on PMODs, 
please check the description below for links to our wiki page. The promotional code for this month is PMOD Monthly Jan 16. Just enter in the promo code at checkout on our website and you can receive 30% off on the PMOD TC1, PMOD ALS, PMOD Mic 3, or all three of them together. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with Digilance products and services. See you next month.